lunch? You all set? Ready. 6-3, Louie. Okay, Hooper, I want you to stand by now. We're about set. <laughs> the cameras. Rolling, Jack. Scene two, take one, B camera, mark. We're ready to make the shot, Roger. Action. Action. Come on, Hooper, come on. <laughs> Tony, let's get ready for the next setup. Get the first team in there. Get me down, Chuck. Get him, Hooper! Don't move, Hooper! Don't move! Don't move! Take a picture, Jack. Go, 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 go. Hooper! You all right? Uh, huh? Terrific. No, I'm serious. He's you great. all right? Oh, I invented that stunt. There ain't nobody in the world that does it any better. <laughs> and you say that in all humility, huh? I give great humble. That's <laughs> <laughs> OK, not a scratch. You sure? You're not talking about your ass. Okay, let's have the first team. Oh, what would you give for a little of that? Two nipples for a dime. <laughs> Sonny, that was terrific. No, that's terrific. Yeah, it is. Teach me to do that gag sometime. <laughs> he wants to learn how to drive a motorcycle underneath a truck. What are you, crazy? Do I want to ride under trucks? Come on, teach me some gags. Oh, for Christ's sake. Mr. West, can I have you in position over here, please? You're right away, Tony. I'll make a deal with you. I'll make a deal with you. I won't do any uh, acting. <laughs> you don't do any stunts, okay? Adam, please. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mr. West, please. Coming, little lady. <laughs> Hooper. Hooper, you can rap for the day. How was this done, okay? Yes. That good, huh? Yeah. Would you go so far as to say perfect? Well, that's what he's supposed to be, isn't he? <laughs> Tony! I hate it when directors slobber all over me like that. Well, when your last picture made over $100 million, you don't have to slobber over anybody. <laughs> you got any perks? Yep, yeah. Listen, if you're hurting that bad, you want me to go get the kit? No, I'll just chomp on a couple of these. What is it this time? My frickin' back. Are oh, you all right, Sonny? Never felt better and had less. Hey, listen, you can be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> that bike gag was terrific. Would have killed your ordinary man. Mm. Hey, Cully, you taking care of my boy? Well, I'm trying to, Mr. Burns. Well, make sure you don't give him any more of those goddamn pills. <laughs> By the way, Sonny, mm. there's a new kid in town. Everyone says he's a young Sonny Hooper. How would you like to check him out? I'm full up. You're the boss. Thanks. See you later. I'll take care. See you, Max. <laughs> Why is it every time I come to town, some young boy has got to try and make a name for himself? Come on. Do Gregory Peck for the doctor. I don't want to see the doctor. Well, you got to go to the doctor and get some x-rays. I've seen my x-rays. They look like a map of L.A. I know, but after that stunt, maybe you've built another off-ramp. Wait a minute. Perkadine is starting to work. I feel the pain is vanishing. My God, I think she can dance. I think she can turn. I think she can work. <laughs> Jesus! How about a date? <laughs> Companion. Me, your dancer. I wouldn't kick either one of you out of the hay. Hey, you never feed me a can of beer like that. You don't shake it up and down like that. Oh, that's very true. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go today, okay? Okay. No problems? Yeah. You fill all those little minds at school with lots of knowledge? Oh, I did my very best. Huh. Kelly called. Oh, yeah? Had your back. 
He's got a big mouth. Oh, come on. How's your back? A lot better than his butt's gonna be when I get through kicking it. Oh. What the hell's the matter with Cully, for Christ's sake? Calling you up me. all the time? Oh, like, oh, sonny, to... What? Your eyes are dilated. Oh, don't start with that. How many pain that. pills did you oh, take Oh, come on, today? Honey, I had two for crying out loud. You had two. I don't take dope. I don't take cocaine. I don't smoke pot. I take pain pills. I got pain for Christ's sake. They stay in your body. They're communal. They stay there for long periods. Those are your socks. I know they're my socks. Why are they on the phone? And look at my parents hanging on the chandelier. You threw them there last I was in a horny and mood. Couldn't you take them off of there and put them away for Christ's sake? The place, you know, Look at this. Beer can it's not a big deal. You don't work that hard that you I, can't take I, stuff I and put it away. I've thought of putting it away. I've definitely well, why thought of put putting it away. Why don't you take the stuff, put it in a... Sit down, will you? Now, do you want to hear my thinking on this? Mm. I figure if I just let things pile up long enough, we won't be able to find each other. Mm. And if you can't find me... You can't have me. <laughs> that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> Sonny, I'm not asking for miracles. If you could just get the beer can, say, 25 feet from... 10 feet from the trash can. 10 feet. Hmm. It's close enough. I'm yours. <laughs> Is your back okay, really? It's fine. Don't you want to walk on it? No, I want you to crawl under it. Okay. All right, we're ready down here. Could we clear the area, please? Could you try not you to stand in front of the camera? I mean, that would be right really here? nice. Yeah, put your hand right there. All right, right you guys the ready on the roof? Okay, we're ready down, down here. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Roll the cameras. Five, six, and all cameras. A camera mark. B camera mark. Okay, action. Cut, cut. Sensational, Adam. Uh, rest right. for a minute. Yeah. Good job there, Adam. Good job, right. guys. Help yeah. Mr. West down the steps. All right, now let's get set up for the stunt. Let's move it. Let's move it. Hey, Sonny, how are you? Cooper. Good morning, Dwarf. Weber. You ready? Where's Mr. Movie? Right here. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning, Roger. Now, uh, as I was telling you the other day, Hooper, in this scene, you'll be escaping across the roof with the dog. The dog? Why do I have a dog, Roger? Just do the stunts like I tell you. Let me worry about the creativity, okay? Sure. Now, about halfway through, the sling will break, and down you will come, dog and all. I'll pick up Adam falling off the awning. It's that simple. Or if it's so simple, why don't we have the actor do it, Roger? I'd like that one take, Cooper. I certainly hope so. Okay, people, let's go. Uh, just a minute, Sonny. Give Sunny. me that oh, dummy wait dog. Wait, uh, uh, Sonny, uh, do you remember me? Uh, Bidwell from the oh, Humane Society. Oh, hi, Society. George. Good to see right you. Now, no, no dog is going to fall from that. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. We have a dummy dog. The sequence is King riding with Sonny here, and then we cut <laughs> and substitute the dummy dog for the actual fall. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't like the whole setup. I, I don't like it either, George. After all, I'm the one that's got to do the falling, you know. Yes, but you made that decision for yourself. Now, the poor dog can't make that decision. Don't worry, sir, really. The company is very eager to comply with all humane society regulations. So we really must be going now. Hooper. Good to see you again, George. All right, Hooper. As you can see, the dummy dog wouldn't fool anybody. Wouldn't fool me. Well, the really is going to take the fall with you. Oh, for Christ's sake. There's my man. Make me look great, Sonny. I'll make you look great, Adam. He's terrific. You can't use a real dog, Tony, for Christ's sake. You can't hit an airbag. You're going to get squashed. Well, well maybe man. you can teach him on the way down. Do me a favor, will you? Yeah, what is it? Would you bring me a stepladder about this high? Yeah, what for? I want you to climb up on it and kiss my ass. <laughs> See you later, Toulouse. All right, people, when Mr. Wonderful gets on his perch, Let's all be ready. Drop. Okay, people, we're ready. Now clear it back. You ready on the roof? Good man. How are you doing, Steve? Right. Good morning, Hover. How are you doing, sir? Jeffrey. Good morning. How are you? Okay, all set there, Sonny. Hooper! Hey. Okay. People are growing right. old down Jeffrey. here. Go, One second. You're waiting on me. You're backing up. Give me the pooch. 
Okay, Cameron got it. Nice doggy. Got it? Going for a little ride. Roll the camera. Okay. Mark got it. Camera. Make it good, Homer. <laughs> I suppose that you thought that that was cute, didn't you? What happened to the cut? What happened to the dummy dog? What the hell are you getting on his case for? He risked his life, save that damn dog. Sure. Use the really more realistic. Do it in one take. Impress the director. Tony told me that's what you're going to do, and then you went and did exactly that. Well, we're going to be pressing formal charges against you, Sonny. You... That little runt. That's one I owe him. You got your kit? It's in the trailer. Well, let's go in the trailer. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, you know what I'd do if I met the man that invented xylocaine? What? I would kiss his ass right on Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> you know, I knew you were hurt the minute you hit that bag. But you had to protect that dog, didn't you? I love dogs. Come on, let's go with the doctors. I hate doctors. You ain't scared of nothing that walks, talks, or digs holes. Why are you scared of doctors? Scared of dentists, too. I'll tell you what you're scared of. You're what? scared of what he's going to take. No right? balls. Yes. Balls, we balls, to, cried you're the queen. You're going to have to see him eventually Look, anyway. I'll buy you a drink. I'll tell you what, I'll buy you the drink I was going to buy you last night if you'll just do me your Jimmy Stewart imitation. Just do a little Jimmy Stewart for me. Oh, well, 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 that's well, a good well. deal. Hey, I'll do Jimmy Stewart. You, you do uh, Roy Rogers' sidekick. Roy, you say? <laughs> yeah. You know, Roy, Roy is a good old boy, but he, good. he had prayer stuff for you. Know? Yeah. So when you die, I'm going to have you... You wouldn't. Yeah, I'm going to stuff everything but your old wing dinner there. Well, that, that, that's the part that needs stuffing. You ought to stuff that every night. Well, I'll leave that up to you. I'm a little too old for it. Well, I ain't going to hold it, I'll tell you. No, that. hell no. <laughs> Baker's hour, eh, Sonny? <laughs> hey, Sonny, it's a taste early for the Palomino, isn't Not it? Not for me, old cock. Hey, I want to tell you what. The dog Good was shot. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What you doing out here with my lady when I'm not around? That can be dangerous. It's not as dangerous as doing stunts. Yes, it is. What can I do for you, bud? Well, I just want to make sure you're going to do that charity stunt show with us Saturday. Oh, I'd love to, but I'm going on a motocross. What's for the benefit of the boys' home? Yeah, that's real touching, Jimbo, but I'm going to get on my bike and go right across the desert. Well, I got somebody who really like to beat you, just idolizes you. Knows everything you've ever done. Who's that? One of the boys from home. I'll just keep it. Yeah, why didn't he bring violins? Well, honey, it's a boy from the boys' home. They need someone to pattern their lives after, to look up to, you know? Yeah, what a cheap shot. Pete, meet Sonny. Hiya, Pete. Sonny, how you doing? Real good, how you doing? Fine. Guess what? What? You can do a stunt. You can do a stunt? Yeah. Let me see it. Shoot him. Do what? Shoot him. Bang. That's terrific, but I'm going on the motocross side of things. Well, I guess I'll just have to give you your gags of that hot new kid with Stunts Unlimited. Yeah. How old are you, kid? I'm still dead. Oh, we... right, yeah. Well, you don't have to be dead anymore. How old are you? I'm eight, Sonny. Eight? Yeah. Okay. I'll be there Saturday. Ray! <laughs> Give me five. See you Saturday. Thanks, Sonny. You're all hard. Yeah. Sonny, what a wonderful gesture. Mm. I'm a wonderful person. Oh, God. Welcome, Welcome to the fifth, fifth annual Stuntman's Benefit, Benefit Show. And up the street to your left, left here they come. <laughs>
liked it. Hey, lady. Oh, hello, Dad. Where'd you get all them house aids? <laughs> uh, kids? Where are my kids here? Oh. Uh, my father. Hi. Hi. Sonny, come in with Dancer. Yeah. You know why he's here, don't you? Have you seen that new kid work? Yeah, now that some bitch knows how I felt when he came. Dad? What? The language. Oh, man. shit. Sorry. Dad. <laughs> Degenerate, you know. Now, how about a big round of applause for these two young ladies? That's all the pay they're going to get. Look out, it's Black Bart, the meanest hungry west of the papers. What we need now is a hero who can stop him. Here he is, just in time. No! That man is one of the true legends of the stunt world, Mr. Jocko Doyle. famous horse dancer. They've never let us down. They've performed in every benefit we've ever had. Whose damn truck is that parked right in the middle of everything? It belongs to the kid. Well, where is this hot shoe kid I've been hearing so much about? You better back up a little bit or he's gonna drop right on us. Oh, shit. Shabby. Cherry race is coming up, kid. We'll put you through the looms on. I'm on my way. Cherry race is next. This ought to be a wreck. Who's racing against the kid? Hammerhead. Hammerhead? Hey, how you, Sonny? Hi, Hammerhead. What's the matter? What, what are you looking at? You got a nice tush. But don't you think you should have something on underneath this thing? Like what? Like shorts. This is all they gave me. And besides, I don't ever wear shorts. What if you have a wreck? What if you turn over and it falls out? It ain't gonna fall out. Yeah, but what if it does? What if it falls out? All the stunt guys are gonna be embarrassed. I tell you what, you can go to my trailer, get a pair of my shorts, you can put them on. I'll watch the team for you while you're gone. Hey, thanks, Sonny. And when I get done with the shorts, I'll have them washed. Get ready for the chariot race, kids. And everybody will have to pick your own hero. Hey, that was a nice ball you did back there. I'll be Sonny Hooper. I'm waiting a year and a half to meet you. Oh, yeah? What happened to Hammerhead? Ah, oh, he was feeling for him. Bad for him. Good for me. How's that? I get to perform with Sonny Hooper. Oh, hell, that ain't no big <laughs>
Yeah, Jimbo. Caca dancer. Caca. 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 <laughs> Beautiful, wasn't it? They were round and firm. Hey, let's go to the Palmino Club. They had a mm. yellow streak running through them. Oh, <laughs> pretty good tricks, honey. <laughs> Kid, you know how to make an entrance. I'm Jocko Doyle. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Doyle. I've studied just about everything you've ever done. Well, it's back in the caveman day, isn't it? You look good today. Doesn't he look good? Yeah, he looked good. Want to go to the Palmino Club? How, uh, how far did you fall? It's about 125 feet. What's the furthest I've ever fallen? Oh, maybe 150 feet. No, I think it's about 85 feet. Wasn't it more like 75 in bullet? Looks like he studied you, too. We better go to the Palomino Club. There ain't nothing like the life of a Hollywood stuff man. Down the highway, regular on the ground. Never run to 80, judging from the sound. Later in the evening, he's hearing up the town. Always seems to end up with the beast girl around. Right. 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 Hey, Cloudy! Come on, that's your face down! Tell him he ought to settle down Find a steady woman Land a jump in town Somehow that attraction Never seemed too great You always seem to leave him Well before it gets too late Pretty fancy! You can toss him, blast him, flip him and turn him Shoot him, hang him, bury him, burn him Let me see your license, Heaven knows please. he won't hold a grudge He'll look you in the eye and tell you with a smile There ain't nothing like the life of a Hollywood stuntman Stuntman, stuntman, stuntman Shall I wait, officer? Yeah, no, do whatever you want! You were going 55 backwards. Well, that's not against the law, is it? Unsafe backing. Silly law. It's still the law. Sign here, please. Here's your license. Thank you. Here's your ticket. See you around.
hold 75 in second. So where's that damn dog now? He's right alongside. Oh, 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 oh. So, well, shit, I'll just be on it. He just pours that dog. Will you shut up? I'm trying to tell you. The table sure is loud over there. Make a lot of noise. Old blues right alongside. Well, this goddamn truck comes across. I tell you, I got 50 cents and a few bucks. I can't hear any of it. A scoping bit of money's worth. Well, school man says, well, that's his asshole. See, he ain't used to them quick stop. <laughs> Hey, Granddad. Hey, Granddad, I got 50 cents in that jukebox, and all I can hear is your mouth clapping. What'd you say, son? I'm a mark deep. I said I got 50 cents in that jukebox, and all I can hear is your mouth clapping. You hear that? <laughs> now, we figure you us 50 cents. You guys from out of town? Uh-huh. Houston. Oh, yeah? What are you doing here? Convention. Convention? What kind of convention? Convention of assholes? <laughs> <laughs> A SWAT convention. Oh. SWAT convention. SWAT team. They gonna SWAT flies? <laughs> yeah, how to save policemen from grounded. No. Good. <laughs> what about my 50 cents, partner? Uh, um, Stanley. Yeah. I borrow your uh, hard hat. I'll, uh, get you 50 cents. Excuse me. Looks like a job the Golden Helmet. <laughs> well, if you wanted to make somebody look like an asshole, boy, you sure did. That was you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six against twelve. Seven. Seven against twelve. Well, looks like it's a little uneven. You guys will have to go back to Houston and get some more guys. <laughs> We are definitely in trouble. <laughs>
night, no profits. Mule, get out there and stop that. Yes, ma'am. Get him, Mule. Yeah. Hey, Belters, hey. roll him out. What's that last name again? Skidsky. How do you spell that? Oh, you kid, come here. Huh? S-H-I-D. S-K-I. Well, we'll just call him Ski. Hey, the night's too quiet, and it's too young twin. And it's too... And it's too damn mean in there. Let's go someplace else. Let's go get some loving. Thanks a lot, Tim. Catch you next time. Right. Shit, that wasn't any kind of fight. Let's go on up the ranch and show him your stunt reel. Yeah, hey, buddy. Hey, yeah. Like the kid? Yeah, I'll play. 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 Yeah, i It always leaves them speechless. <laughs> that was great, Sonny. Thank you. It's like you've done just about every gag there ever was to do. Well, uh, me and Jocko... Yeah! Believe I will. Me and Jocko, we... We never turn down a stunt. <clears throat> never turn down a gag. I had it in my will once, no, no. When uh, I thought I was gonna uh, die, have now yeah, have something to leave, and I put it in the will. I said I wanted it on the cement, on the thing, on a the rock. Tombstone, Jocko Doyle, no return now a gag. You see, uh, perfect. That would have been a hell of an idea. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And of course, I turned down. What I did turn down was everything else, but then shit. Keep the good times rolling. Yeah. Is that why you did it all? It's because of the good times? Well, you know, in the not good times, kid, I mean, I get so damn old, I'm just sitting in my rocking chair at a porch. I'm going to have some nice memories. What the, what the hell else is there? I don't know, just to maybe prove certain things can be done or that... A man can do just about anything he puts his mind to. Mm, that is too deep for me. Sun! <laughs> the sun's come up. It's daylight. Hurts when you're numb. 
<laughs> Where's the kid? He's standing there, staring avariciously into your trophy case. A little trickle of slaver and <laughs> That's so goddamn funny, you know. You weren't a hell of a lot different two years ago. Twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you, your little eyes was spinning around, <laughs> beady, looking for fame and fortune. <laughs> Shit. And you know damn well too, because I was sitting there making twenty thousand dollars a year as a top dog around this place. Every time I look over over my shoulder, there you are jumping up and down, looking. Figuring out some way you can top whatever gag I did. Well? Well? Well, you gonna marry my daughter? Oh, goddamn, Jocko. I was married once, you know that. It was a disaster. I I felt like a failure, you know? I, I'm scared to death of marriage. Besides that, nobody's getting married today anyway. Who ain't getting married? Nobody's getting you married. Mean nobody's get... Name me somebody that ain't getting married. Name me two people, for Christ's sake, that ain't getting married. Everybody's people getting married. Faggots are getting married, for Christ's sake. <laughs> well, you mean nobody's getting married. <laughs> yeah. I love it, Jocko. But I got to do things in my own time. And You're a horny way. son of a bitch. You I got to do things in my own time in my own way. Yeah, well, that's, that's what I done, see, in my, my time, my way. I wasn't even home when she was born. Listen, you. Didn't didn't you ever want that? Didn't, didn't you ever? Haven't you ever been with Gwen? You wanna you wanna have a baby, huh? You ever have, have that that feeling? All the time, Jack. All the time. Hey, now listen, Roger. We gotta have a talk. The studio is bugging me about the fight. The sketch later, Max. Really, I've gotta get this first shot, all right? Tony, let's set up this first one, okay? Thank you, my love. Oh. Thank you, R.G. Good morning, Mr. Burns. Hi, Max. Oh, that punk. Who? Who? Roger. For this last picture, I can cross the hundred million dollars, I'd kick him right in the ass. Well, do it, Max. We've been waiting for months for you to kick him in the do ass. Do it. Oh, you guys look like goblins. You should see through my eyes. It's metro <laughs> Well, I just got a little headache. You think we're bad? You should see that guy. Hell in my ear. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Stop that thing. Shoot it. Kill it. Want some breakfast? <gasps> God, to get that circumcised, will you? What are you doing here? Reporting for work. What? Reporting for work. To work? Yeah, don't you remember last night you told me to come to work? Did I do that? I don't remember that. Oh. No, you're pretty bummed. Want me to leave? No. No, I don't want you to leave. We'll find you some work. We'll get you some work. All right, everybody's ready now. Roll the cameras. Camera's ready. Steve. Marky Naval. And Baker. All right, background. Action! Okay? Didn't do a thing for me, Hooper. Missed by a mile. Boring, boring, boring. I'm not a mind reader, Roger. If you tell me what the hell you want, I'll give it to you. Look, you're the stunt gaffer. So gaff. I've got an idea. Take some time, though. Who are you? He's a new man. Ski. He's a good man. Well, anything will be better than what I just saw. So let's try one. Thanks for the, the kid here, the Polak here. We're going to have to sit around all day waiting for night to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, time to get over my hangover. Hey guys, uh, it's Roger's birthday. Oh. oh. No, no, no. I thought maybe we could all maybe pitch in and think of something to give him. How about VD? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got an idea. I know something to be perfect for Roger. Everybody cough up a little money. Come on. Come on. Happy birthday, Roger. Watch your feet, you know, I'll Roger. You know, you need, Roger. <laughs> well, what, what more can I say? But I'm very, very touched and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this fire scene is very dangerous. We want everybody on their toes. We don't want anybody hurt. Okay, action! Remember, that's gasoline in there, Sonny. Right. Be careful. 
bless your cock. Got you sweet, Bippy. Sonny, will you get serious? No time for that. Are they okay? I can't see through the flame. Cut it, cut it. Sorry, what are you guys waiting for the invitation to put that fire out? LA's got enough smoke. Oh. You know, Sonny, I love stuntmen. Tony, get Hooper over here for me, will you? Uh, Hooper, that bit at the complex tomorrow, who's set for it? Bobby Bass. Hmm. Would you mind if Ski did it instead? Yes, I would mind, Roger. Uh... I'm the stunt coordinator on this picture, and I say who does the stunts and who doesn't do the stunts, and I'd like Bobby Bass. Hmm. Well, I, I don't want to infringe on your authority, but I, I really would like Ski to do that gag. You gotta make them look good, okay? All the preparation you need, we'll go down and set up the cameras. You got it. All right, people, we're in the wrong place. Now move it all downstairs. Let's go, let's move it! You ready, Ski? You'll be ready in a second. Come on, good buddy. Not too shabby. Why, that's pretty good. Well, we probably could have done that when we were his age, except we didn't have buildings that tall. <laughs> A little slow. If you don't mind, uh, I'd like to have another one. Okay? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> Come around tomorrow. I'll show you how an old man does.
Here you go, Sonny. Thanks, Don. We're all ready, Hooper. A little air in the airbag would help, numbnuts. Get that! Sonny! Are you crazy? Huh? What? I just talked to that helicopter pilot. So? Well, how high are you going to drop? What's the world's record? 223. I'll go 224. <laughs> I'll bet that airbag didn't... I bet it didn't look that... Without causing any commotion, I, I want to go see the doctor. About the same thing. Another tropism. It looks like we've got a coronal facing here and another sagittal facing here. So you've got two areas of instability within just the space of around two or three lumbar vertebrae. Now, if we go over here, as you can see, this is the articulating facets. This is a coronal facing here, as you can see, and this is a sagittal facing over here. This gives a very unstable low back condition. How's my coctus erectus? If you'll just hold on to it for a minute, I'll finish. Fine. All of these conditions make it uh, look like you're having a pre-osteoporotic condition. <laughs> Frankly, Sonny, it doesn't look too promising. <laughs> Hell, I thought I had a problem till I came in here and you explained it to me. Now I'm not worried anymore. Christ, I was really proud of that operation. Mm. The average person, it would have lasted them for a lifetime. Mm. But now with you. Why do you keep on screwing up all my good works? <laughs> you should be paying me half of what you know you learned from wiring me together. What have you got, Sonny? Some kind of a death wish? Now, look who's talking. Look who's talking. These things are nails in your coffin. Jesus. I'm cutting way down. <laughs> I hope so. Look, Sonny, I'm serious. Good. You can't keep bashing the bejesus out of your back <laughs> and expect to go walking around like a normal human being. Listen, listen. I can handle it. I'm a tough guy, you know what I mean? Give it to me, <laughs> sweetheart. Don't pull any punches. The kid can take it. I mean, the kid could take it. Only you're not a kid any longer. Look, <laughs> Sonny, I'm gonna level with you. Huh? One good impact here. No. You understand? You're gonna be paralyzed. From the neck down, nothing moves. Nothing? <laughs> yeah, even your ding-dong. <laughs> Look, Sonny, I'm not saying it'll happen. But you could die. 
Well, my ding dong ain't gonna work. I, I don't want to live. All right, but the odds are against you. If you were a horse, I'd shoot you. I bet a big five. El Foldo. El Foldo. Star El Foldo. El Foldo. See it? Then here come the biggies. Screw the biggies. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, you can't use that thing. What is that? It's my pocket computer. Well, you can't use it for cock the computer. You can't use that. You show me where it says I can, and I'll put it up. Hmm. All right. I'll see your five, and I'll raise your five. Oh, I'll just use my manually operated poker sense against your mechanical wizardry, and I'll bump you a quarter. <laughs> Look at that, gang. Who is that guy? That's the writer. Well, he looks a little miffed. <laughs> you think Roger didn't like his script? I think so. <laughs> what do you got? I got a pair of fours. Pair, pair of sevens. <laughs> Three aces. <laughs> it was a calculated risk. So was the Edsel. <laughs> You'd like to sit in for a hand, Mr. Burns? Thanks, Cully, but I'm not in the mood. Well, you characters, you did it this time. How's that? Roger. You got him so excited, he's rewriting the script, putting a whole bunch of new gags in for you. But you want us to blow up L.A.? <laughs> <laughs> no joke, Sonny. The writer was a little upset, as you may have noticed. Yeah, I we, bought it. We yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the studio is backing him all the way. They say it's his ball game. So tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, on stage six, he's having a meeting with you fellas, and he's going to show you a great idea for a new ending. Biggest earthquake ever. You guys are trying to drive to safety. Now, the first thing we do is collapse this building into a giant crevice. Giant crevice. Now you're driving through explosions, bodies flying everywhere, fire, and you're just about to reach safety when, bam, we blow the bridge. And you fellows will have to rappel down into the gorge. There'll be a lot of fire and smoke and explosions up the other side to safety. All in one shot. All in one shot. Flames, explosions, death, everything. And you guys leaping out of it to triumph. Isn't it a great idea? It's a great idea, Roger. I can't imagine anything better. Why not jump a car over the gorge? Oh, Ski, will you knock it off with the jokes? No, no, no. What do you, what do you mean, Ski? Well... You'd have the biggest, best car stunt ever done. What kind of car could leap a gorge that wide? A rocket car could make it. Well, I don't like it. If you don't make it, what do we do, write you off? Cliff. Oh, they could make it, couldn't they? Sure, they could make it. Cliff, what's the longest jump a rocket car's ever made? Buddy Joe took one 187 feet once. How far is this? 325 feet. Could you beef up the suspension? Build a cage strong enough to protect uh, Ski and I when we landed on the other side? I could build a car like that, but I can't tell how it would land. That's 325 feet, son. I know how far it is, Cliff. Hell, it'd be a new world's record. Wouldn't do my reputation any harm. Sonny, think of the risk. Forget about the risk, Max. Just bring your checkbook. Hooper. Huh. What's your fee for a gag like that? A hundred thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars for Ski. Fifty thousand dollars for me. It's the world's biggest stunt. It ought to have the world's biggest paycheck. Well, look, uh, will you boys wait over there for a minute? I want to discuss this with Roger. Of course, of course. You can do it, Cliff. All you got to do is build a big enough cage, a strong enough cage to land on the other side. Sonny, it's easy. Roger, you know how much over the budget we are. I want it, Max. It's right, and I want it. It's a stunt that's never been done. And what if they don't make it, Roger? Are you going to be responsible for it? I don't care. I want it. It's the ending I want. It's a statement I want to make. Cut something else if you have to. I want that stunt. Right, Roger. I'll talk to Sonny, see if I can't get his price down. No offense, Max, but uh, I don't think you could. Hooper knows you too well. Tony will get him down. Won't you, Tony? It'll be a pleasure. 
I drove this sucker the other day, and it hauls ass. What'd you do to it? I put a 428 police interceptor in it, balanced and blueprinted. Right. It's plenty hot. If it's that hot, I can use it Friday night. Okay, listen wheel, up, man. listen up. Leadheads. Oh, what? Any of you guys seen Hooper? Down here, short legs. Hooper. Yeah. Talk to you for a second. Step in my office. Look, that, that gag you guys came up with this morning, 100 thousand way out of line. Mm -hmm. Well, that's my prize. It's not negotiable. <laughs> Everything's negotiable, Hooper. I know you're making big noises just to jack up your fee. But here it is. 20 grand for the jump. Because when you get right down to it, that's all this is. Just another car jump. Really? Better fasten your seatbelt. What the hell are you doing? I'm just thinking over your offer. I think better when I'm driving. Hope we don't get excited. Maybe we can compromise. I never compromise. Life is too short. So are you. Maybe we head off on the wrong foot, Hooper. I don't think so. Oh, Jesus! Just another car jump. Grand. Uh, hundred grand will be just fine. <laughs> okay, who? Oh, yeah, this couldn't be better. <laughs> nice Good job. I you might get a little sick in a second. <laughs> He says he fell down in the shower and broke his knee. Dumb jerk. Even when they tell him it's a stroke, he won't accept it. How is he now? I don't know. I shot him full of Demerol. Stupid old bastard. He's so damn stubborn. You know what a priest saw me one time? No, what? I was 
priest says to me, son, your body is a temple. <laughs> Hell of a goddamn way to treat a temple in it. And horses stepping all over it, and stagecoaches dragging it all through rocks and cactus and all kind of shit. And I'm gonna spend the rest of my time laying around waiting for something to heal. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Well, what for? You tell me what for? Well, I, I think, Jack. Oh, I don't want to hear all that now, sonny. God damn, you're talking so good. Temple's all busted to shit, and all you can do is keep on talking. Anything you? Yeah. They said they don't know if they'd be able to walk again. Well, I'll tell you something, Quinny. I'm quitting after this picture. I'm not doing any more stunts. I'm gonna hang it up. I love you. I'm gonna make so much money on this job anyway. I can. Stock it. <laughs> I'm being hot cotton. I love you. What'd you say? I said I love you. I love you too. Oh, bonus notice! <laughs> oh, oh. oh. You better save some of that tequila for breakfast, Bart. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Come on in. Where, where in the hell have you been? I've been waiting. We were at the hospital, Cully. Oh? Dad had a stroke. A stroke? Is, uh, really? Oh. Is he all right? He's gonna be all right. Oh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Gwen. Uh, Hi, Kelly. You look perfectly off. Oh, look I am. You. I am. Give you some supper. No, wait, wait, wait. No, I know nothing to eat. Uh, I got fired, so I came by to say goodbye. Fired? What are you talking about? Well, you see, they were over budget, and, and they wanted to get rid of some of the dead wood, and my wood's dead. <laughs> Who fired you, Max? Uh, I don't really know, uh, but I... I got the word from that little popcorn, uh, popcorn fart Tony. Oh, no, no. Shit. Nobody can hire and fire anybody on this. What are you no, doing? No, Come on. No. I told them if they fired you, they'd have to fire me. Oh, did you tell them that? Yes, I told them that. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, uh, you know thank what? You. Uh, you real rascal. That's why I love you. you yeah. We do things for each other. And I'm going to do something for you right now. Do something for me. Give you some good advice. Good. Get off the damn picture before you get hurt. Oh, Cully. He told me this is his last picture. After this, no more. Oh, sure, if there's anything left of him after this picture. Cully. What does that mean? Oh, you, you didn't tell her, did no, you? No, I didn't tell he her. He didn't tell you? Naughty, naughty. He didn't tell you about the big, bad rocket car stunt? Will you stop it. No, what stunt? Oh, well, I'm going to let him fill in the details. Why don't you I'm just hurting. mind your own business? Why well, don't just drink well, your tequila? I do want to tell you one thing while I'm still drunk on your tequila. I went to see his doctor. Oh, shit. No, I, I went to see his doctor. Ask him, ask him what's going to happen to him when, they, when he lands on that rocket car over there across the gorge, how hard it's going to hit. Sonny, what is he talking about? He's talking about $50,000 over and above what I'm going to make on this picture. Oh, it's just... Besides, I can't let that kid do the stunt alone. The kid? What? What is this? I mean, you've got Ski in this crazy thing now? Oh, no, Gwenny, it's the other way around. The kid's got him. Will you butt out? I told you that kid was gonna get you killed. Sonny, you told me you were quitting after this picture so you could trade it off against doing this ridiculous stunt. Isn't that true? You're crazy, you know that? I'll tell you one thing. You're crazy, you know? I don't want to hear you. No, listen, get your hands, hands off you me. You dumb, dumb jackass. You shut Sonny. your broken mouth. Listen, don't you're messing up my wardrobe. Hey, Sonny! 
Oh. Oh. 172 motion picture fights. It's the first time he ever hit me. That's a bitch can hit. Colin, I'm so sorry. Oh, he didn't mean it. If he'd a minute, he'd have hit a lot harder. He's hurting, Gwenny. He's got a lot of things on his mind. Sonny, will you go home now? Why? Please. Sonny. <laughs> Sonny, what are you trying to prove? Let me ask you something, Debbie. This is a big town, isn't it? I mean, Los Angeles is a big town. Yeah. Well, why in the hell is this bar closed before the bars in Tulsa? Can you answer me that? I don't know, Sonny. Hey, let's go somewhere and have some breakfast. You want I can't do that. Let's go somewhere and have some lunch. I can't do that either. Well, let's go somewhere and jump each other's bones. Ah. Hmm? That is tempting, Sonny. Is it? <laughs> yeah. But you know why I can't do it? Why? Because my husband is so jealous and so near. So big. Sunny. <laughs> hey. When you get so drunk, you make a pass at Debbie in my presence. It's time for me to call you a cab. Yeah. Well, you don't call me a cab. I am a cab. You don't need to call me a cab. I'm perfectly able to take a walk or ride or fly or whatever. Anything you want me to do, I can do. I'm perfectly comfortable. Terrifically coordinated. So, bye bye and so long. He's a player, a pawn, a hero, a king. This man they call a bird that flies across the screen. He's an idol for the love. A smile for those who cry A fantasy for a million ladies But he sometimes wonders why But he's a man A strong but simple man Standing proud and walking tall with a longing for living Never taking, just giving He's a man that no one really sees at all You said you could do it. I rewrote the script because you said you could do it. We rearranged the shooting schedule. We spent a damn fortune preparing for that stunt because you said you could do it. I was wrong, Roger. I'm sorry. You were wrong. He was wrong, Max. 
He's sorry. He blows a whole goddamn movie and he says, gee, I was wrong, sorry. <sighs> okay, okay, new business. Ski does it with someone else, that's all. Why don't you forget it, Roger? I never liked the damn gag, anyhow. Who else can do the stunt? Buddy Joe can do it. He's not available. Who else? Nobody. What do you mean, nobody? I mean nobody. It's a very complicated, very special stunt. There's maybe three guys in the country that can do it, and we're not available. Well, Ski will do it solo with a dummy, then. Oh, God damn, Roger. If you knew what the hell you were talking about, you'd realize it takes two guys to do the stunt. One guy to drive the car, one guy to read the instruments. And I'm telling you, the ski isn't qualified. Max, does this man still have a job on this picture? Sonny works here as long as I say so. Or as long as Sonny wants to. Thank you, Max. Now, if Sonny says ski can't do it, I believe it. It's only a damn movie anyhow, for God's sake. Only a movie? I want you to call the studio brass. I want you to tell them, and their stockholders, and the distributors, and the bank, that it's only a movie. Will you do that, Max? I want you to tell them, forget about all your money. It's only a movie. I'll tell them that no damn movie is worth a man's life. And I'll tell them that unless I can shoot this picture the way I want to, and that means this stunt, then I take a walk. And we'll see who walks, Mr. Burns. You or I. I'm sorry, Max. Uh, what the hell, Sonny? What the hell? <laughs> you know the old saying, you'll, you'll never, never work, work in this town, town again. again. <laughs> Unless they need you. <laughs> Uh, thanks. I hope. <laughs> if you're still mad, I can just leave and then oh, come on shut back. up and sit down. <laughs> kind of early in the day for that hard stuff, isn't it? I'm working out. Working on my left arm this morning. I'll get around to my right arm this afternoon. <laughs> you heard what's happening, haven't you? I'll tell you what's happening. That new kid ski while well, they got him gaffing the show. You know what else? I'll tell you what else. They canceled that car stunt, at least temporarily. You were right. You're absolutely right. It's a two-man stunt. And there ain't nobody crazy enough to ride with that kid, especially with no rocket strapped to his butt. And you can bet your ass, your cowboy hat, and your house cat, they're going to be coming after you to get you to do the stunt. You going to do the stunt? You know what, Cully? There's a whole new breed of stuntman coming along. They're younger and stronger and tougher than us. They don't take pills. They don't drink. They don't, they don't take shots. They use little pocket calculators. If we don't watch out, they're going to blow us right out of the tub. You didn't answer my question. You going to do the stunt? Oh, I never realized there were so many gags at the end of the picture. <laughs> so involved. Fire gags, the whole town being blown up, 50 stuntmen doing falls. All right, Max. What's the real reason you came out here? You asked me to come back and get the show. That's the rocket car gag, Sonny. The rocket car? That's a two-man job, just like you always said. Nobody in town will touch it. And Roger's worried that Ski will get hurt. That's a lot of bullshit. Roger's worried about getting the shot. Roger's worried about finishing his picture. So he talked you into coming out here to ask me to come back and do the gag. You tell Roger to go sit on a short stick. Well, if you won't do it for Roger, I'll do it for you. I'd appreciate it. You'd appreciate it. What happened to you, Max? You used to be tough. Nobody could tell you how to make a picture. 
And nobody got hurt on your pictures. If I don't deliver this picture, I'll be the producer who blew the biggest and hottest project in town. All washed up, finished. And I'm too old to go back to selling door to door. You got me. You gonna do it? Be here when you get back. Hey, Sonny, how you Jeffrey. doing, my man? Gary, how's it hanging, Sonny? Hi, Sonny. Max said you were coming in. Nice to see you back. What do you think of my baby? It's big. Looks like one of King Kong's suppositories. <laughs> How you doing, Ski? Fine, Sonny. How about you? Good. Let me tell you guys how this thing works. Now, Sonny, your job is to dial up the pressure. You'll need 1,500 pounds. Now, that leaves Ski free to drive. When the pressure's right, hit the switch, and you are gone. How's it handle? I haven't driven it yet. Let's try it out. I heard that. How's it feel? Oh, it pulls a little to the left. Anything else? That cigarette lighter don't work. You just better hope that that cigarette lighter works. <laughs> we we'll fall in the explosive truck. The driver will jump out and it'll blow. It's supposed to collapse the bridge from the superstructure here all the way to the other bank. You figured out on that little pocket calculator of yours how uh, many G's we'll be pulling when we land? Eight to ten if we land on our wheels. We gotta make sure we hit that ramp just right. Otherwise, it'd veer off one way or the other, or we could just go head first right into that bank. And if that happens, there's just one thing to do. What's that? Put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. It's a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a drink. You don't drink, do you? I'm willing to start. Damn good time to do it. You know, all this hanging around with you, I think you're starting to rub off on me. How's that? Well, a couple ways. Uh-huh. Excuse me. My first marriage, you know, is more than likely in the shitter. Oh, yeah. And I'm learning to drink and liking it. <laughs> yeah. Well, my present relationship uh, is not uh, good. Actually, it's in the shit or two. <laughs> well, what the hell is it about stuntmen and their wives and relationships? I don't know. It's a little like uh, it's a little like uh, drinking and driving. Eventually, there's going to be a hell of a wreck. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. This your car? Yeah. Looks pretty fast. Looks ain't deceiving. From the looks of them beer cans, I'd say you two guys were a little drunk. 
Like I said, looks ain't deceiving, you old fart. Better let me handle this. Huh? I hope you guys ain't planning on doing any more driving. We're not gonna do any more driving. I just called my mother, and uh, she's gonna come out here and pick us up and take us home, and I'm gonna leave the car here and go home with my mother. <laughs> Your mother? Yeah. I hope you're right. Old fart. So the queen says to the photographer, I got a brother-in-law that's a photographer. The photographer says, well, that's not so strange. I, I got a brother-in-law that's a queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look what we got here. Howdy, old fart. Afternoon, officer. Nice day, isn't it? Pull out. Slide over there. What's that? I said pull over up front. Pull over up front. That's what I said. Gotcha. Shall we? <laughs> Say goodbye to the nice officer. Bye bye, nice officer. Great God Almighty. Headquarters. Never mind. All right, Tony, I'm coming down. Get over and ski ready, will you? All right, move it out of here. The helicopter's coming down. Tony, I have to do everything myself. Get those people out of here. Cooper, ski, get over here. Roger wants you. Let's go, let's go over here. You know, we'll be putting away this thing here. You know that? I'm gonna blow no. this up, I don't know. As you remember, it's a giant earthquake, you know, with fires, explosions, buildings falling everywhere, chaos, terror, and you'll be driving through it. It has a nice grayness like La Strada. All right, now I'll be in the chopper for all of this, and we start back there at the administration building. When the earthquake hits, we collapse the building. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea, Roger. That, that's got to look terrific on film. Now, this gas station is where uh, you'll force one of those cars chasing you uh, to hit those pumps, and that'll set off our main tank. A sensational idea, Roger. I think it's the only way it can be filmed. Actually, you're quite wrong, Tony. There are several ways of doing it, but uh, this is undoubtedly the best. All right, Sonny, I'm depending on you here. I want some good stunts, some cars skidding, other cars crashing into each other. But these smokestacks are important. When they fall, they demolish everything, they've got to just miss your car. That is crucial, because we can't put those stacks back together again. That's right, Roger. Here's where you find the explosives truck that blows the bridge, and of course your car will have to jump the river. We'll go over here and we can get a good view of the jump. Yeah. Good to see you. Time for the jump, right? Yeah. It's gonna be neat. Talk to you later, babe. Hey, Gwen. Gwen, do you want to see him? No. Afterward. Roger wants to talk to you guys. Yeah, Roger. All right, Ski Sunny, this is Roger. You boys ready? Born ready. Wonderful. Let's drive it, shall we? One's all you get, Hoss. Good luck, guys. Hold this while we're going, will you? Remember, people, no one ever won an Oscar for second best, so get ready. All right, this is it. Roll the cameras. Speed, rolling cameras, 125, 639, 11 and 12. Action! Go, go, go!
construction ass! Got enough pressure. Screw the pressure! What is happening? What the hell is going on down there? Keep rolling, goddammit! My life's worth more than a piece of film. I'll tell you exactly what your life is worth. Your life is worth fifty thousand dollars. That's the price you put on it when you got behind this wheel. Sonny Ski, if you do not try to make this jump. You will never work in this town again. That... We're going, huh? We're going, yeah, we're going. You're crazy. I'm gonna hit it. Spot, wouldn't you? Yeah, from this side. <laughs> You're just the greatest. I love you both. <laughs> when? Well, that was his best stunt ever. It was his last, Max. Wild stunt. Max, Max, we did it. We just filmed the most extraordinary stunt of all time, and we got it. Tony? Yeah, Max. You're fired. Right, Mr. Burns. Spectacular. Wonderful. I... I knew you could do it. I... I never saw anything like it. Wonderful. Well, what can I say? It was wonderful. Hooper, can I speak to you for a sec? Look, I know we didn't get along in this picture. I also know you think I'm a tyrannical egomaniac. Well, maybe it's true. But films are tiny pieces of time. We captured it. I only do it for one reason, to make the best movie I can. Because I'm a pro just like you. I'm also big enough to apologize. And I know you're big enough to accept. Well, Roger, as usual, you're wrong.
He always is the bad guy who gets it in the end. He's out there stopping horses or falling off a train. He never won a gunfight, squabble or a brawl. For being such a loser, Hooper's really got it all. Toss him, blast him, flip him and turn him Shoot him, hang him, bury and burn him Chances are the Hooper's back for more Run him out, cross the ground Take a truck, run him down He ain't easy, he's up and gone You can hit him, kick him, generally abuse him Set him on fire, we'll abuse him Heaven knows he won't hold a grudge He'll look you in the eye And tell you with a smile There ain't nothing like the life of a Hollywood stuntman He ought to settle down, find a steady woman, land a job in town. But somehow that attraction never seemed too great. You always see him leaving just before it gets too late. Going down the highway, rarely on the ground. Never under 80, judging from the sound. Later in the evening, he's tearing up the town. Always seems to end up with the prettiest girl around mm, You can toss him, blast him, flip him and turn him Shoot him, hang him, bury him, burn him Chances are the Hoover's back for more Run him out across the ground Take a truck, run him down He ain't easy, he's up and gone You can hit him, kick him, generally abuse him Set him on fire, we'll amuse him Heaven knows he won't hold a grudge he looked you in the eye and tell you with a smile there ain't nothing like the life of a Hollywood stunt man. He looked you in the eye and tell you with a smile there ain't nothing like the life, nothing like the life. There ain't nothing like the life of a Hollywood stunt man, stunt man, stunt man.